Good morning, everyone. We are from the Department of Building Science of Tsinghua University, and we are grateful to be given the opportunity to share our work in the grid shell sphere by the active bending weaving structure in this meeting. My presentation today contains three parts. First, I will explain what a weaving structure is and what it's made for. Then I will introduce the full flow of generation algorithm and our design proposal, which is not really built but shares the same form with the lightning ball here. Frankly speaking, I get quite amused when seeing the cover of this PowerPoint template for its similarity with our weaving ball. So let's begin with our so-called weaving structure. Bending active is an effective strategy in the construction of freeform because it uses the elastic property of material rather than accurate positioning to reach the target form. For elastic grid shells, when you erect these continuous elements in the simple grid pattern, the basic shape is limited. You can't use it in vertical places. When we use discrete elements in triangular grid, the assembly of joints and beams is time consuming. And in many situations, singularities exist in the grid, which is not good for structural behavior and construction. So we get the idea from traditional weaving handicrafts. They use a special grid pattern called kagome to cover various shapes. If we scale these handicrafts into a building size and replace the slices into stronger rods or pipes, we get a new system and we call it weaving structure. To do this, we need a generation algorithm. It mainly consists of three parts. First, we rebuild the basic shape into triangular mesh with similar edge lengths. The valence of most uh, interior vertices is 5, 6, or 7. There are many ways to get such a mesh, and we use spheres packing method here. Then we do a mid-edge subdivision and only extract the edges of these small triangles. These segments can be joined into polylines. As you can see, there are no singularities in the grid. All nodes uh, only have two rods crossing. After that, both mesh and polylines are smoothed to minimize extra curvature so that they can approach the bending rods. In this step, the structural property of real material is not included, so we call it geometric smoothing. After getting the weaving structural member in polylines, a simple analysis of the stress and deformation is required. We use Kangaroo in Grasshopper to simulate the condition of bending, loading, and constraining. As is mentioned, the original form may not be the stable state, so we do a relaxation by giving polylines the trend to be straight, and the form progressively approximates stability. This GIF shows the form finding process, and we can see the original state is good enough so that it does not change a lot. Then we add loads like wind and gravity to test the stiffness. During both dynamic situations, our parameters are set accordingly to reality. The last step of our algorithm is to turn the polylines into construction data. A map of the length and node position information is generated, including their sequence numbers, the total length, the number of each node, its distance from the origin and its distance from the previous node. The C in this map means curve and the P means point. During this whole process, the information of the 3D spatial geometry can be simplified into several marks on the one-dimensional rods, removing the needs for complex CNC machines or templates. Here we would like to share this spherical grid shell as one of our proposals for ISS 2019 competition and exhibition of innovative lightweight structures. The diameter of this sphere is 4 meters. As we have seen, simulation shows that because of the low stiffness, large deformation at the bottom may cause destabilization, so we have to consider the overall stiffness and balance factors like the grid density, material, thickness, and numbers of layers. Mainly our purpose is to find a combination of them which can bear large bending in the form finding period and be solid if possible in the working period. To research on it, we list three grids with various densities try a series of thicknesses and examine the maximum stress and deformation. We can see crossing marks here, which means collapsing of rods or not being able to bear the weight of itself. Since the concentrated force on each node is small, the collapsing mainly comes from curvature. For rods with circular cross sections, the limiting curvature is inversely proportional to the thickness. It includes an inherent spherical part and weaving part, as is shown in the left picture. Reciprocal interwoven rods create additional bending moment, and it can be calculated by this formula. As a result, by using denser grid with 
thinner rods, the structure can hold its weight and easy to be bent and weaved. To strengthen the grid shell, just adding more layers of rods is enough. To increase the speed and simplicity in construction, we use 3D printed nylon joints, which can work as snap on planar hinges. The distance between intersecting rods is minimized in order to reduce the weaving curvature. When constructing, each rod is prepared with its full length and labeled. We start by connecting shorter rods, and then the assembly of the longest rod is just like rolling a wooden ball, and is shown in this picture. In conclusion, by a general generation algorithm, through the form-finding process of interwoven rods, weaving structure can be used for construction of a great variety of freeform geometries only by off-the-shelf rods and uniformed joints simply, and without using complex CNC machines. It makes good balance between structural soundness and ease of construction, and can work as form structure integrated system. It also combines digital designing with traditional handicraft, and is interesting in art. That's today's topic. Thank you for listening, and we are looking for good questions and cooperation.